The second control I want to talk about on the gun is the paint volume control knob on the back of the gun. This is what controls how far back you can pull the dynamic control trigger. So this will limit the amount of paint going out of the gun. The combination of flow control, pattern shape, and distance to your project is how you control the size of the pattern you're spraying. So if I dial this way down, it's practically closed, so hardly anything's coming out, and I go to my circle pattern, what I can actually do is draw about a quarter inch line. This is a very controllable unit. So at that point, as I increase the flow, and I'm talking about a, maybe a quarter inch turn to open that up, it's going to increase the size of that spray jet. Each time I open it up a little bit more, the pattern gets a little bit bigger. Also, as I back up a little bit, it'll get bigger. So for most furniture projects, you want to be maybe four to six inches away, and for painting projects, maybe six to ten inches away. One reason you want this kind of control is if you're spraying something that's an inch and a half wide, you don't need a six inch wide pattern. That's wasted material. It goes past the project. Most likely it's going to land on something you don't want it to land on. So by controlling the size of the fan pattern, you actually cut down on wasted material and overspray that you're going to have to clean up later. The amount of material flowing out of the gun affects the atomization of the material. So if you've got too much material coming out, you're not going to get good atomization and that's going to cause what looks like spitting. If you have too little coming out and too much air with too little paint in it, you can get orange peel.